We all know that a lot of people use steroids. You watching this right now could very well be using some steroids. Is it appropriate and is it fair? Well, that is a conversation that goes far beyond my capabilities of technically explaining things. So that was a f***ing lie. Actually, it's right in my wheelhouse. I will do my best to explain what I think. There's an individual who is perfectly aligning with this conversation right now, who has come up in the news quite a bit lately because of steroid allegations, but it is not in bodybuilding. It's not in strongman. It's not in powerlifting. It is in baseball of all things. Something that has been notoriously tainted with steroid accusations and well-known abuse for decades now. You know in this channel that I can't pronounce names, but here we have Adol, Adolis, Adolis Garcia's neck. <laughs> Adolis Garcia's neck. I don't know if that's right. He, in one season, went from this, a generally bit male, to a monster. Look at the development in his arms after a single season and development in facial hair, might I add, and jawline. It's insane in, in a season, guys. Now, a lot of people say, especially on Twitter, man, people are wild on Twitter. It's called lifting weights. You should try it ever heard of the gym like people are just coming at the guy who posted this i i actually find it kind of odd here's the thing though. there is some validity to what they're saying the pick of him before he just came to the united states didn't have access to the things he would have in the picture to the right where he's signed with a team where he's going to have nutritional guidance a workout facility coaches trainers to be honest hundreds of thousands of dollars of a paycheck every single year so he's making good money he's got a team to support him he has expert guidance and probably through that expert guidance is getting a lot more done even then in a single season i don't think it's necessarily tangible for someone to progress this much and we can look at pictures of him recently and it's just sort of becoming a bit more evidence that there is just something going on that's a little bit funky with our friend adolis here that's again probably not how you say his name adolis adolis i don't know anyways he came from his actual name's jose adolis garcia arita arita uh, ah, shit. Here you go again. Uh, nicknamed El Bambi. El Bambi? Uh, I'm just going to stop saying names. We're just going to call him Jose. He was born in 1993, a few years before me, actually. So he's 31. And again, he looked like a pretty normal dude before, man. <laughs> Like a normal dude and sort of just had this radical transformation into the beef month. I don't even know what you want to call him here. And everyone is saying that he's on steroids. He's on juice. He's he's gassing up. Their Twitter user posts this, which is a five months difference between the time gap here. Absolutely insane. Uh, you'll notice his hairline is gone. He, he's a swole dude, no doubt. And again, when you're coming from a lesser fortunate country yeah you're gonna when you get supplies and nutrients and trainers and stuff like that you're gonna blow up right but you're not gonna blow up quite like this and and truly genuinely look like a bodybuilder with the face bloat with the trapezoids with the arms and the, the muscle insertion points visible like this is all very evident of anabolic use now i don't know if this is a real instagram account because i was not able to verify this anywhere else but it does seem that he was suspended for verification of performance enhancing drug use however I can't really find information on this anywhere else. And doping in baseball goes back like a very long time. We've this again, like I said, this has been a issue that has tainted the MLB for a long time. Some of the most professional players have been banned when finding substances in their blood or in their urine. Several players have suggested that drug use is rampant in baseball. There is numerous accounts of accuse people uh using steroids and then actual caught red-handed kind of people using steroids and it's pretty evident and jose Cancero Consen and Jose Consenso in 2005 released his book called Juice, which talked about his experiments in his career and also named many other players who had also used during their career. And the book discussed the controversies and, and how in baseball there is a lot of performance dancing drug abuse. For me, especially someone coming from a, another country that is looking at the America as an opportunity, who's looking at it as a paycheck to be realistic with you. And I've talked about this a lot. It's a moral dilemma, but it's a valid dilemma to talk about. If you have a potential multi multi-million dollar contracts on the line and you get in to the door and you're like hey i gotta stay with that door open and then improve my chances of climbing up the ranks well there's a little pill for that there's a little injection for that and it's not going to do too much to you but it will ensure your progress indefinitely in this sport well entertainment is entertainment if i perform better i make more money and i get to stay here for longer win-win right look what is the the probability that he's using something 
pretty fucking high. I don't know if there's actually these proven allegations like people are saying, or if this is just all allegations and that was like a fake Instagram post. But what I do know is that for sure, this person is probably using something like testosterone replacement therapy, but at a higher super physiological dose, something like 250 milligrams and using orals around training or practice to create more motor and pattern retainment. So like learning how to do the movements more proficiently and better, I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, testosterone at 250 to 300 milligrams with Winstrol or Anovar is pretty much typically what you see in baseball. This is thoroughly what I believe, like no doubt in my mind. Most baseball players, most football players, most hockey players even, uh, most soccer players, the, these people are on performance enhancing drugs of some kind. We see this in the Olympics as of late. There was numerous, like numerous people from Israel, from Japan, from China, that all got caught with PEDs, all got caught in PEDs in their system. It was very clearly a big ass problem in this current Olympic games. And, and so this isn't just a small issue. And I don't even think it's an issue, to be honest. I think it's just something that people don't want to talk about because I don't know, like right? just people's uncomfortability with someone using steroids is kind of wild at this point, because pretty much the United States is the only country that doesn't allow it. Again, in his country, Cuba, you can fucking blast this shit like crazy. In a sense, people don't like it. So they don't talk about it, but they want improvements in athletes every single year and they want the best athletes on the platform they're performing on. The one surefire way to do that is by manipulating hormones, specifically male hormones. And you can do that for a long time and you can do that to improve your career and improve the duration of your career. Growth hormone, testosterone even a little bit of uh, oral steroid compounds, 17 alkylated steroid compounds will do amazing things for you. So yeah, dude's not natty for sure. <laughs>